a lot of the reasons why we can't get past things as a people, you know, it's because when something goes wrong, we're too busy looking for someone to blame or someone to hang out to dry. What we have to understand is whether it's a spouse, a friend, business partner, stranger, every good and bad interaction we drew to us or we were drawn to it. That all goes back to what's good and bad within, simply reflecting outwardly right back at you. Like life is a big mirror. So, you know... When I realized that all the people that I was attracting in my life or the people that I was attracted to or that all the bad treatment or even good treatment I was receiving from others was a reflection of how I treated myself or thought of myself as well as uh, it was also a reflection of the way that the people in my household treated me growing up, which is what molded how I look at myself and how I look at life. When I realized that, I stopped putting so much energy into being mad at whoever I thought hurt me. And I started to put more energy in taking responsibility in healing myself. Because what I realized is that I don't cleanse that energy out of me and I don't heal that shit from me, and I carry it in my heart, which I'm carrying it in my aura, I'm going to keep attracting that to me. And I'm going to keep being attracted to people who's going to do me a certain kind of way. Because I'm still holding on to a motherfucker that emotionally, verbally, sexually, physically abused me in my life. So I keep being attracted to or attracting people who do the same. I keep holding on to people who have accused me, lied on me, lied to me, manipulated me, took advantage of me, used me. And so then I keep attracting people who do those things or I keep being attracted to people who's going to do those things. Until I heal myself and I cast those motherfucking people out of my life and out of my heart, most importantly. And I leave forgiving them up to the most high. And I'm talking about family. Because the first seven years of your life is the most important. The way you were raised and people look past this and look who you are, how you look at the world and how you look at yourself is rooted in your youth. I don't care what nobody say. You can't heal until you go back into your childhood. I learned that six years ago. When I started asking certain questions, that's where I was guided to. Little by little, more and more, I had to face those monsters. No matter how bad it hurt, no matter if I thought I was ready or not. And they were all family. And every experience I've had after that, in terms of my upbringing, Every male or female interaction seems to keep being a reflection of how it was with the women in my household that raised me or how it was with the men in my life that raised me. I'm dealing with fragments of those people and everybody else because I haven't removed that bad energy from me. And I'm being very vulnerable with sharing this shit. And I've been saying it here and there, but everything I say gets shut down, which is a reflection of that same adversary energy that's been against me. And them people. That's why when scripture say you're not at war with others in the flesh, but powers that be, this is a spiritual battle. People are carrying spirits with them and that spirit may be waging war against them and you and you're thinking the person know what's going on and they have no fucking clue that's why you'll address a family member about something and i swear to you the motherfucker will not remember 
you address other people about things and they don't remember. I can't be mad at the person. I could, well, I could be. <laughs> but when it comes to my cousins, I choose not to be because I understand that they just fucking possessed and that they went through things and they inherited spirits and they've also drawn spirits to them because of how they lived their life living a life where they was breaking all the laws that were put in place to protect us without realizing it because niggas wasn't taught right. <laughs> and then on top of it, the spirits you take on from your family and then the people you around, the places that you go to, spirits following people home from the club and they don't fucking know it. Now you got Jeepers Creepers standing in the corner of your room every night watching you, figuring out how the fuck it's going to be able to get into your vessel and trade places with you thinking no one's going to notice that your whole personality is fucking different. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, (laughs) this stuff is... It's life. We always had awareness of these things. We fell from grace. Now we don't remember shit. Bumped our heads. You know? Now it's time to start remembering again. At least start with the childhood. So that you can address those demons in your life for real. Because it's not in other people. It's in you reflecting back out at you. And everyone's fighting each other instead of focusing on yourself. If everyone just focused on themselves, we wouldn't have none of these issues. What do you think the entity is going to do but test you? They can't leave. So they're going to try to keep, you know, other people from leaving. I be telling my counsel all the time, what, whatever you battling with and whatever I'm battling with, are plotting on how to take the both of us down. If we don't communicate and we don't see these little slick ways they be working through that, we don't think, we don't even think it's happening because we just be trying to chill, bro. Sometimes this shit could be like, damn, it's too much. But the minute that you start acting too human, there he, there, there, there these motherfuckers go. And you wouldn't even realize it could be something someone say and wasn't really thinking before speaking, and it hurt the other person. It's like, okay, you gotta heal that wound and go within yourself. Pull that weed out. Face whoever planted that weed there in your. Even if you can't talk to them directly. Because they may not even be in your life no more. Or talking to them may not lead nowhere because they're not accountable. They'll never they'll never apologize. And I'll tell you this right now. I don't give a fuck about apologies no more. I used to think it's the right thing for people to do. And it is. But I've had some of the worst shit you could possibly have done to a person. Done to me. And then people will never apologize for it. I literally am so at peace with that now. I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you got to stop thinking everyone's here to cater to you and your feelings, bro. Because people are not here for you. People are here for themselves. And if we're guided into each other's life for a specific reason, we take what we can. We learn what we can from each other. We give what we can. And you just keep it pushing. Because it's not about if, 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 if your relationship with other people work out. It's about if your relationship with yourself and the most highs is working out. And then every other relationship will reflect that relationship. So pulling all these motherfuckers out of our hearts, all these devils we got love for. Because that's what I was telling you. Cousins start fighting on new and full moves. Don't realize it's whatever entity is upon them trying to feed because it came to collect. So then they start lashing out at each other. This is why I'm so glad I'm not online. But this is the patterns that will take place in the past. And then... You know, 